Hi guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival, and today we're going to be talking about the cedar tree. Probably, at least in my area, and throughout probably a good portion of the boreal forest, the cedar tree is a very, very good thing uh, to know about. It is a very useful tree for many different reasons uh, that we will be talking about. Uh, in this video. Now, first of all, in extremely hot weather or kind of in extremely cold weather, uh, cedar trees do create quite a nice canopy to protect you from blazing sun, bitter blowing cold, uh, deep snow. Snow is generally uh, not as deep in a grove of cedar trees. So in some cases uh, it could be somewhat effective, efficient, even desirable uh, to build your shelter in and around a grove of cedars. Now I say sometimes because cedar generally is a water loving tree. So if you're if you're seeing cedar, there's a pretty good chance that there's a good body of water or even a swamp nearby. A lot of the time, that swamp might be all around the trees. So it's not, it's, it's not a sure thing one way or the other. It's, it's not a sure thing that you're going to find water, but it's somewhat likely. It's pretty likely. Um, <clears throat> And it's not a sure thing that you're going to find dry, solid ground uh, to, to set up a, a campsite in uh, to, to keep you out of the elements. But it is a possibility. So, but either way, the, the cedar tree can be um, sort of a stage one of your shelter uh, in that you know, it, it helps to keep you out of the snow, it kind of cuts back on the blowing wind, it definitely protects you from blazing sun, all that kind of, you know. Um, or it could lead you to a water source uh, that you obviously would want to utilize uh, in, a, in a bad situation. So, <clears throat> either way, you see cedar trees, you might want to go check it in. That's... One way or the other, it, it can be used. Uh, let me see. Next, uh, next up on the. Um, so, I'm not wearing my Selkirk uh, today because I'm in a public park. There are kids playing. There are people walking their dogs. Um, it's not a good idea for me to be walking around right now wearing a knife. Eh, you know, it'll make people somewhat nervous. So I'm just I'm not wearing it today for that reason. So uh, let me see here. We'll just uh, we'll just pretend that this is my knife. Now, cedar bark is very very fibrous. So if you take your knife, the, the sharp edge here, and you scrape some of the bark around the tree and then keep it in your pocket, uh, definitely dry it by a campfire, um, something to, to basically dry it out as much as possible. That makes an excellent tinder. So even if it's incredibly difficult to get your first fire going, if you have some of this around, you prepare some of that ahead of time, your next fire will be so much easier. And if you find a dead tree that's already really dried out, then you just take the bark off and utilize that. Chances are it'll, it'll be fine. So that is an excellent fire tinder. Uh, next up, um, okay, cedar is a very rot resistant wood. Now, this probably hasn't been laying on the ground all that long, but the tree that fell over 
or was knocked down, blown over, uh, kind of whatever, is very dead. There's nothing on it at all as far as like the leafy part of it, the evergreen leafy part. I don't even know what you call them. Quillions? I don't know. Um, so, regardless, this has been, you know, laying on the ground for a while in the, the wet and the snow and the, you know, kind of whatever. And as you can see, it's still pretty... <clears throat> like I can't even pull a piece off. You know, like, it's... it's it, it's still kind of live, but it hasn't started to rot at all. That's because cedar is very, very rot-resistant wood. And it has been used in the construction of boats and furniture and houses. All kinds of things for that reason. So if you're in a long-term bug-out type survival situation, you know, kind of whatever, you're building your shelter, your structure... Uh, furniture, tool, uh, handles, Gee, handles, jeez, tool handles. Um, cedar is a, a generally a pretty good way to go uh, because it is very, very rot resistant, very versatile. And over time, the least amount of building and furniture making, whatever you can do, means saving calories. So when you're thinking a long game, you're saving calories by using rot-resistant wood to build a lot of your stuff. You have to remake it less. So that'll definitely help. Now, I have to move us to a slightly different location uh, for the next little segment here. Cedar is a member of the evergreen family, which means it's like this all year around. I, like I say, I don't know what these are called. The, the leafy part, it's, they're not pine needles, they're not leaves, they're kind of a combination of the two. Whatever it is, this part here. Mm, I like that smell. This part here is packed with vitamin C and in my area and probably the majority of the boreal forest vitamin C can be difficult to come by um, certain times of the year you can get apples uh, you can get rose hips but you have to be at the right place at the right time in order to harvest those and if you are not in an area like that, well, you need vitamin C, otherwise you're going to get scurvy. This cures that really quickly. Uh, the, the need for vitamin C, the scurvy, the, you know, whatever. Um, when, when some of the earliest settlers first came over to North America, um, many of them were suffering from scurvy, um, kind of on death's door, so to speak. And the native population brewed them a tea out of this, and very quickly they were fine. So there's a lot of vitamin C in... Now, that being said, it's actually a good thing that it is so packed full of vitamin C, because honestly it doesn't taste very good. So it really is taking your medicine. But you don't have to drink, you know, hordes of it because it is just so chock full of vitamin C. So that that pretty much, I think, covers it. So it, it's it's an excellent shelter um, from from some of the elements. Uh, it's really good. Uh, it's really good to utilize it for building and such and so forth. Um, it's good fire tinder. It's good medicinal vitamin C kind of thing. And it doesn't have any of the little pine cones on it. They're actually pretty good for starting fires as well. Uh, especially if they're dry. Any pine cone, any dried pine cone is a really, really good fire starter. 
Um, it's got the pitch in it. There's a red tail hawk somewhere nearby calling out. I love that sound. Uh, so, just, you know, it's a very, very useful tree. It's something that you should be familiar with and uh, utilize when, when possible in a survival situation. Uh, because otherwise, where are you going to get your vitamin C from? How many times do you want to rebuild a chair? Or, you know, the, 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 the footprint of your, your shelter? Um, or, you know, even like the, the, the lean-to or A-frame or, you know, kind of whatever. If you can use cedar, it's, it's going to last a lot longer. Um, as long as you peel the bark off. you got to remember to peel the bark off. Otherwise, the wood mites and wood lice will just eat it up. Uh, but if you peel the bark off, it's very, very rot-resistant. Uh, I should mention that. Peel the bark off when you're using it to build with. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. So, thanks for coming to check out my video. And uh, click that uh, thumbs up button, that like button for me. Uh, help me grow my channel uh, a little bit quicker this year. Um, it's It's been slow going, but, you know, I, I, I really want 2019 to be the best Wolf in the Wilds year possible. And... Uh, I really would like to grow this channel and, and reach out to a lot of people. Um, just, you know, I want to hear uh, the comments and the, the new ways of thinking and, and all the ideas. And the best way to do that is to get my network as big as possible. So please, please, please like, share, uh, you know, tell your friends, all that good stuff. I, I really, really do want to uh, hear what people have to say. I, I want as big a network as possible so that I can get as many ideas and out-of-the-box thinking as, as I possibly can. So let, let's do that in 2019, guys. Let's, let's grow the channel uh, a little bit bigger. So you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, once again, thanks for, thanks for coming out and doing this with me.